What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto Ranked Double Ladder with this GMAX Kingler team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes a second of you guys' time to support the channel. So this team right here was sent in by Gabriel Walker. Gabe, thank you so much for dropping this team. I am so hyped to use it considering we got a GMAX Kingler and I never use them on the Ranked Ladder yet. But rocking in the top right corner, we have this Tailwind Whimsicott right here. He's just a little Tailwind Pokemon. Left corner, we got Gudra, Assault Vest Gudra, Tanky Boy, with all this coverage move set with Fire Blast, Ice Beam, Muddy Water, and Dragon Pulse for Stab with that Hydration ability. I might change that. If I wanted to change something, it would probably would be that ability on the Gudra. Probably give it Sap Zipper to kind of give a little bit more coverage to that big attacking Kingler. So maybe we could swap out if they have a Grass Threat, if a Kingler's in, and just Sap Zip it up. But Hydration works for now. We have Conkledor in the middle, middle row with Kingler right next to him. But Conkledor has that Guts with Protect, Thunder Punch, Mock Punch, and Drain Punch. With that Black Belt to actually boost super effective damage, that works too. Either Black Belt or Flame Orb for that Conkledor. I kind of like this item move set on that thing. We have the Draco Soap with that Chewy Scarf, Volt Absorb. Iron Tail, Bulk Beak for Stab, Pluck to actually take out berries. I kind of like that move. And Dragon Rush for big damage stab. We have Gengar in the bottom right, yo. Gengar is such a sick Pokemon, especially with this Life Orb right here. And his moveset right here can make him go two, two ways. He can even be like a, a support mom with that Hypnosis. He can actually put some Pokemon to sleep. Or Burns for those physical type Pokemon. Or you can take the attacking side with him, Dynamax him or whatever with that Coverage Energy Ball and big stab damage Shadow Ball. Then in the final spot, we have our boy, the Krabby Boy, Kingler right here, G-Max Kingler actually. So his G-Max move lowers the opponent's stats or speed stats by two, so that's huge. We can take full control of the speed advantage game once we get that rolling with Hammer Arm, Sword Stance, High Horsepower, and Crab Hammer for big stab damage. He has Hyper Cutter as his ability, so his attack stats will not be lowered. But guys, you want to use this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom screen. And let me know for question of the day, what G-Max Pokemon should I use next as they added a bunch of different ones and I haven't even got to all of them. So let me know in the comment section down below. But guys, without further ado, let's get some wins with this Krabby Boy G-Max team. Hopping into battle number one, this guy has a Leafeon team right here, which the Leafeon actually poses a threat. Hence the reason why I kind of want Sap Zipper on this cruiser, but we're chilling. I think we're going to go Wimscott because he's probably going to leave Wimscott trying to get the Tailwind advantage. Do we go with our Gengar for Hypnosis, or do we go with Kingler to lower his speed? Hmm. I can see him going Wimscott. I don't really see him going uh, Leafeon. If he does go Leafeon, we can always just swap and be chilling with the Gudra. Maybe. So let's go Kingler. And let's go Gengar in the back end into Gudra, I believe. Let's see. What other mods does he have? Like, our Gengar can hit like a truck, kind of roll out here. Gudra's a nice little tanky special attacker. And we have Kingler for our big physical. Hmm. Um, I think we're fine with it. I think we're chilling with this one. I think we can start off with a Tailwind, and if he doesn't go Leaf Down, we can maybe Dynamax or Swords Dance, depending on our situation. Let's just see what happens. Let's see who he has. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Head and link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Like, I know we're posting a lot of Mystery Dungeons. I'm having tons of fun with that. You guys should definitely go check out that series. But if you guys are missing all the daily uploads for Ranked Battles, just head over there. We stream two to three hours, four plus days every single week. Come hang out. Tons of fun. But it goes Whimsicott into Titar. So, I could just... Can I just dump on this Titar? Um, Night Night? Possibly. Possibly. Just go and slow them all down. I could double into it right here, but I think the Tailwind is the right call. And then just uh, D-Max into a Bone Burst and slow everything down. Just play it that way. Let's just slow both these Pokemon down. Get them out the way. But yo, look at my Krabby Boy. Look at his one big claw. He's just like, mm, this, is how he, this is how he stands. He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> nope, no, no, no. Look at this boy. Yeah. Look at that dude. We're going to G-Max right here, right now. Show off a little bit of Santa Claus action. Because this dude has, like, bubbly beard. And he looks like the Crab Santa Claus. It's hilarious. Like, look at this dude. Look at him. Look at that killer stash. Killer beard. This dude Santa Claus. I'm telling you. Like, this is the guy that comes to your house every single Christmas. <laughs> We're going to roll out here. Send our tail when He's going to Dynamax as well. Okay. Okay, I see you, my dude. We're going to slow it down. We should be able to hit before this, uh... Titar. This has got to be the Titar, right? He's down to max it. I think he wants us to trigger that weakness policy, and he might actually just dump on my Kingler, which is rather scary. Which is rather scary. He might actually taunt me. That would be a good play. That would be a good play. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. He goes first. He's going to go for a Tailwind. Okay, we're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind. My Kingler should be able to outspeed that, uh, that boy right there. So Tailwind pops out here. 
Let's get it. Let's get it. I don't think we're gonna kill it. He actually might kill me if he's weakness policy, which is rather scary. We're gonna drop a nice little foam burst. Slow it down. Yeah, you get it, baby. Foam bursting. Look at that damage. Look at that damage, baby. That's some huge damage. We'll drop its speed. All that of Oh, it's a crit. Oh, we doing that. We doing that now. Dropping both these things speed. Is this thing policy? Please don't tell me it's policy. Let's see. It's policy. You can say bye bye to my king though. Or hopefully he goes for my whimscott. Hopefully he goes for my whimscott. That would be a cool little play. He's gonna drop a steel spike into my whimscott. Okay. Okay, we take that. We take that. I'm Sash, but we go down to the sandstorm. We have the tailwind set up. They are already slow. Um, that's I'm telling you, that is totally fine by me. I'm cool with it. Um, my Pokemon will be faster. Hands down. Do I pose how do I how do I do this? Do I pose a threat over onto that T-Tar? Like, how should I roll with this one? Hmm. Okay, so Wimscock goes there. What do I got in the back? I got Guja here. I can drop an Ice Beam over onto the, the Wimscock. Kind of roll from there. I have the Gengar with the Grass Energy Ball. Blah, blah, blah. I say I save the Gengar from the back end. I say I go Guja right now. And I Ice Beam into that Wimscock. And then do I pose a threat? Do I pose a threat over onto that T-Tar? Yeah, I have to. I have to. We're going to go here. Oh, I could make the read. Or I could make the read. Oh, what's our best bet? Max Knuckle? Get the attack boost? Max Knuckle should be able to KO. Right? Yeah, we're going to post this threat over on the T-Tar. He might guard. If not, we should be able to pick up the KO. He does not guard. Okay, that's fine. He's going to fake tier onto my Gujra. Okay, that's fine. He fake tiers on my Gujra. I can swap out in a little bit. We'll be able to drop this a little bit of Max Knuckle. Hopefully this KOs this thing. It should be able to. Let's see. Yeah, okay. We pick up the KO. We get the plus one attack for our next move. And I might just swap out my Gujra after this. I'm thinking of just swapping out my Gujra after this. Going to do some damage over onto that Wimscott. I don't, I'm not sure if we're going to take it out with this Ice Beam. But I would love to. Because this Gujra doesn't really hit too hard. It's more of just like a beefy, bulky Pokemon. Let's see. Ice Beam. Get it. And it's not Stab. So, let's see. The decent damage. Can we get the Freeze? A little bit of Freeze action? No, no Freeze. But like I said, we have this Speed Advantage all day. Like, it's so huge. It is so huge to have that drop and the Tailwind off. But I think I swap. I think I have to swap to Gujra now. I really do think I have to swap to Gudra. He's gonna send out Leafeon. Okay, so Leafeon is scary. Leafeon is scary here. We should be able to out outspeed that thing. And possibly drop a... I, I gotta swap this thing. I gotta swap it to the Gengar. And then I have to go for a nice little... Uh, oh my god. Ah! This sucks. This sucks. I kind of want to go for a Foam Burst. I mean, we should have the Speed Advantage. So I'm thinking of just doubling into this Leafeon. Going Fire Blast. And just taking it out. Like he, he'll probably take out my uh, thing with the with the whimsicott, but I gotta go into this. Cause my Kingler should be fastest on the field. Let's do it. Let's do him dirty. Yo, he might actually think I have Sap Zipper on, and of course, we eat though. We eat though. Oh, we eat though. Well, let's go. Sap Zipper. I don't think would Sap Zipper come across for that, but I'm chilling with that. That thing is life orb, so he doesn't have a D Max as well. Oh, look at that. Not bad damage. We just need to fire blast to, to land. We should, we should have the speed advantage all day. My Gujra should go down after this, though. Which is tough. Actually, it might be able to eat up with that assault vest. We'll see. Fire Blast. <gasps> no! Bruh! What you mean? What you mean we missed that? Can we eat this up? Because the speed is slower. Okay, we eat it up. Oh, my lord. That is whack. That is whack. Um, how should I play this? Okay, so we're, we're faster now. They are minus two. Well, one's cost minus four. I can get the double kill. I'm gonna pick up the double kill. I'm gonna go Ice Beam into Wimscott because I'm pretty sure it will take out. And then just roll out into whatever I want. The Wimscott should be able to go down here. And then sh sh Crab Hammer. I think Crab Hammer can take it out. Stab. That's tough. Or I can go for a Hammer Arm. A Hammer Arm will lower my speed. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Let's drop it. Let's drop this thing. This thing's gotta go. He's gotta go. Kingler should come out here. Hammer Arm. Look at this move. Yeah, yeah, baby. Takes out the lead count. Beautiful. Okay. We're chilling here. We are chilling here. We still have the Gengar in the back who hits hard. We can put Pokemon to sleep from there. And I should be able to pick up the double kill. Should be able to pick up this double kill with this Ice Beam. Get him, Gudra. So far, our team's working pretty well. That was the big threat. The big threat was that Leafeon right there. And we were able to eat up a shot. We were able to eat up a shot from that. So that's tight nice. The Buffets pop out here. Now it goes down to a 3v1 situation. And it really depends who it is. But I think we're fine. Both Tailwinds are petered out. Speed's back to normal. I mean, my Crab is minus one. So, it's a Togekiss. So, it's probably going to go first. Maybe drop a Dazzling Gleam. Um, I could just go... Oh, that's, that's actually tough. That's actually tough. I can go into an Ice Beam. 
Then I'm just gonna go into Crab Hammer if I learn it. Oh no, it's okay. Hammer arm. We are choosing to our hammer arm. I forgot about choice band. Let's see what happens. That's something. Mike pick up the double KO here. Like Gujra, can you eat? Maybe. Oh! Mmm! Mmm, tough. Oh, you get a crit on my Gujra. That is some tough news right there. That is some tough news. But it comes down to my boy, the Gar, up against this thing. So my Gar should be able to outspeed. Possibly put this thing to sleep. And roll off from there. Maybe get that win. Let's get it, Gengar. Let's get it, baby. It's all come down to you. Let's put this thing to sleep. He's, this thing's got to go night-night. Got to go night-night. Gengar's got to have the speed advantage, hands down. What you want? We coming for you, Tokus. We coming for you. Go on, Hypnosis. Land. Land. What you mean? Bro, what you mean? Get out of my face. Get out of here. And you get a crit. Get out of here. Seriously, get off of me. Hypnosis, you gotta land. Like, what do you mean? Put this thing to sleep. Okay, we get to sleep. Game's not over yet. Game is not over yet. Okay, so we just need this thing to be asleep for one turn and we have to do half damage here. Well, another turn after this. Oh my lord. We, we lost. We lost this game. We had the one hit KO. Because the life form's gonna take us out. That is so whack. That is so whack. Can we do it? I don't know. No. To be honest. Okay, we're going for it. We, it's, our, it's our last chance. It's our last chance. Come on, Gengar. Get a crit or something. Do him dirty. Let's go, Gar. Let's go, baby. Come on. Ah! No! <laughs> this game's so whack. We missed our fire blast and our first hypnosis. We would have won that game, but still, GG. Let's hop into battle number two and try to get a win. I seriously thought we played that first battle very well. We had two missed attacks. They got two lucky crits on us. Like, come on. Come on, we had that one. We should have won that one, but it's all good. We're hopping into battle number two. This guy is T-Tar Grimstarl for screen. Sableye for, I don't even know, maybe just quashing around? Having some fun? I'm not too sure. Because he's not going to want, like, Sunny Day or anything, so. Okay, maybe he has foul play on it. Not too sure, but he has Toe Kiss for following me. He has that Rotom, the Rotom Grass, big stab. Probably Life Orb. It's probably their Life Orb Pokemon. And that Gyarados with maybe Intimidate on it. Maybe it might have Intimidate on it. But, 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 what should I go with? Probably gonna lead Grimstarl. I could start taking the speed, but he has to quash. We might not even bring that thing. I might actually just go Yangar. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm feeling it. Where do we go? Whims Whimsicott could be good. Let's go Whimsicott. Let's go Whimsicott. Bring Kingler in the back end, and then... Gujar or Zolt? I think Zolt could do decent here. With that scarf? It really depends. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go Draco Zolt. Let's go Draco Zolt in that back end. Or do I want Commodore? No, let's just go Draco Zolt. Let's get rolling from here. We have we had seven seconds left. Luckily, we did pick our Pokemon. Let's get it. Dude, I'm still mad about that. Missed that Fire Blast. Could took out the Leaf Gun. We could have eat up the Leaf Blade. All that. Or we wouldn't even have to eat up the Leaf Blade. That first Hypnosis would have landed. We would have been fine. If he didn't crit on my Gudra, my Gudra would have survived. If he didn't crit on my Gengar, we wouldn't have died that Life Orb damage. So, like, what you mean? What do you mean? When he goes Rotom into... Okay. Okay, we did not lead our boy. So, we're chilling here. So, he has Fake Out. We know that for a fact. Uh, kind of just want to put that thing in sleep. And then kind of just roll out into a Tailwind. Take that whole speed factor here. I could Dynamax start fake tearing out. Possibly. Possibly. But I want to get this sleep off first. Put that little Rotom poo to sleep. I'm going to get off me. Get out of my face. Sucker Punch coming through. Yo, you failed. You failed, my dude. And we land a Hypnosis this time. Thank you. Thank you, Night Night, to this Rotom. We're chilling. We're chilling. Okay, so he cannot move. He did not do nothing this turn. Uh, do I D-Max here? Do I D-Max? I mean, he's, he's probably going to go for a Sucker Punch. So I might just actually throw a burn on him, <laughs> to be honest. Because he might keep trying to Sucker Punch me. So I'm going to throw a burn on him, and I'm going to throw a Moon Blast that way. Because if you want to Sucker Punch me again, that's totally fine. Yeah, see? Let's go. Let's go. So I'm going to just throw a burn on you. Go from there. Yeah, Like so like, what you want, dude? I'm not playing your games. Tell me you have Sucker Punch. Get out of here. Moon Blast dropping on you. Let's get it. Built, not bad damage. I could swap from here. I honestly could swap from here. Rotom's still slumpy poo. Um, I might actually D-Max. Do I D-Max? I think I might D-Max from here. And just get after it. Yeah, I could go D-Max into a Phantasm. And drop defense stats. Or I can go for... Nah. I'd rather just go for a Phantasm. And then drop a nice little Moon Blast over on the Snarl. Okay. Because I don't know if he's going to go for Sucker Punch this turn. I really don't think he's going to go for Sucker Punch this turn. <laughs> 
we just be playing his games all day. We could just be playing his games all day. Man, I love reading those sucker punches. Look at that. I was like, you know what? I'll burn you and throw a moon blast at you. And you'll just miss your turns. Again. But now we have the D-Max. Look at this boy. Look at this dude. I don't think G-Max Gengar is uh, allowed. I don't think he's allowed yet. I wish he was. He's so cool. We got the burn on the Grimstone, so the Sucker Punch won't do too, too much. If he is throwing it. He is throwing it this time. Look at that. See, we eat that one up, baby. We eat that up all day. And now our Kingler is just going to be in the back end for a nice little choice band Pokemon for big damage. The Phantasm pops. Bang. Basically one KO. We're chilling. Moonblast is going to take out this. And we'll be able to take out the uh, next Pokemon after that. I think Sash as well. It is Sash. That's fine. We can say bye-bye to the Grimmy Grim. And yeah, he got no screens up, so that's like that's huge for us. That's honestly huge for us that he got no screens up. And the best part is I can go into a fake tiers with this Wim Sky, knowing that we have the speed advantage, and just kind of jump dump on whatever Pokemon we want. So we're, we're looking pretty good here. We are looking pretty good. Not bad, not bad. I don't think I'm really worried about this Rotom coming in here doing some damage to us. We might wake up next turn. But if I can get rid of one more Pokemon with this Gengar, our Dynamax would be a huge play. It would be a huge play. So I was going to save it for the Kingler, but I was just like, dude, this is a huge opportunity for me. Okay, so T-Tar, we cannot fake tier it, but I have to go after it. I have to go after it, so I might just double into it. Or do I take out the Rotom from here? I could just take out the Rotom from here. Or I could go for an Overgrowth. I get some HP back, but I'd rather... Ooh, I'd rather drop his defense. Oh, it's not very effective. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so we got to go after it. Now I'm gonna just moon blast over on here. I don't like I'm pretty sure fake tears does not work on T Dark. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. So I'm just gonna roll out, take out the road time from here, and drop a nice little overgrowth, get some HP back, do a little bit of bit of damage to it. It might be weakness fossil, so this could be the scary part. But the thing is, if I get this Kingler in while this tailwind is up, because how many turns do we have left in the tailwind? Maybe one? Maybe one after this one? Like say he takes out my Gengar here. My Kingler can come in and go for a crab hammer. And do some big damage off on this thing. But I think we're going to trigger weakness policy. I think that's a fact. Let's go. Big max overgrowth. I don't think this is going to KO. Maybe half. Yeah, see, just about half. A little bit above half, but we're chilling here. We get a crit. Okay, that's a crit, baby. Rest of the train pops. Is this thing weakness policy? It, it's got to be. It's got to be that, that WP. Got to be WP, baby. Yeah, see, it is WP. Weakness policy. And he's going to boost his attack stats. And he's, he's going to dump on my Gengar. That's a fact. But my uh, Wimscott is going to go first. Which is type nice. We say bye-bye to you. Boop. Rotom gone. Get him out of here. Get him gone. Um, hopefully. I mean, no. He's got to take out my Gengar here with, yeah, with the darkness. Okay, so bye-bye, Gar. Bye, Gar. Thank you for coming hanging out with me. I would say that that was pretty good. It's down to a 2v2 situation. Well, 2v3. We have the speed advantage. Our special defense dropped on our Wimscott, but I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. I think I can just get Krabby Boy out here and then have Choice Scarf running around with the Zolt in the back. Wimscott gets buffeted. Okay. But the Grace Terrain is just going to heal us back up. Love to see it. You love to see it. Okay. He gets that Grace Terrain as well. Uh, do we have to double into him? We might just double into him. Oh, our Tailwind does peter out. That's tough news. I mean, I see both these mods outspeeding that T-Tar. Like, hands down. It really just depends on that next poke. If it's going to double one or not. Okay, guess. Uh, could be going for follow me. Could be going for follow me. Probably is going to go for follow me. Um, I think I still have to drop a crab hammer. Hmm. And I say I just set up this tailwind. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, both our mods outspeed. There's no need to really set up a tailwind. There is no need to set up a tailwind. Even my Zolt with that scarf is going to be on outspeed. It's coming down here. Just follow me. Ooh. 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 That's tough. He's going to take out my Kingler, dude. He's going to take out my Kingler. Not my Kingler. Yo. We pull off a nice little Moon Blast. Can we hit a big crit? But it's not. I don't think water is very effective to this thing. Let's see. Crab Hammer comes in the clutch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not bad damage, buddy. Not bad damage. Max Knuckles is going to fly through on my Whimsicott, hopefully. My Kingler. My Kingler eats, though. Moon Blast takes out. Crab Hammer is going to fly through next turn. That is huge. That is huge. At least just boost that attack, and I have Chewie's Scarf. I can go. I have a lot of coverage moves. Well, let's see. What's the play? What's the play? Crab Hammer into T-Tar. Moon Blast over into Focus. Or does Buffett take? Let's go. Let's go. So we get a nice double hit here. Potential game. Potentially game. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yo, Kingler coming in clutch here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Take out this T-Tar. I think this big physical attack on move can take it out. And we could potentially get a crit because critical hits land more easily with the crab hammer, baby. Crab hammer. 
what you want. And it's choice. It is choice bandit. Doing some big, big damage. Let's get it. Or you cancel. Are you scared? No, he's gonna stay in here. Moonblast comes in. Come on, crab hammer. Doom dirty. Doom dirty. What you mean? Bruh, what you mean? What do you mean? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? You cannot make these things up. You cannot make these things up. I swear, you cannot make these things up. We legit just missed a crab hammer for the win. We better win this game. I am so frustrated with this game right now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Game is just not on our side right now. Zolt can come out. We have Iron Tail. I mean, Iron Tail could potentially do some nice damage, but... Is that... A, that should be the end of his dime match, right? Yeah, that should be the end of his turns. It's whack. So whack. He just did that. His stats are boosted as well. Let me see his stats. Bruh, 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 bruh. Okay, so... We got attack. Okay, so his defense isn't high. His special defense is plus one. I'm hoping we can take out with an Iron Tail. And a Moon Blast here. We should have the total speed advantage. Let's get it. Oh my lord. Iron Tail comes out. We connect. Beautiful. Take out. Moon Blast can take out. Beautiful. We won this one. We won this one. Thank the lord. But I really wanted to end it with a Crab Hammer. Like I just wanted to come down. And just slam on that Dynamax Heatar. But either way. We picked up that W. We go one and one. And now we can hop into our third and final battle. And try to get a winning record with this Kingler team. Who would have guessed we're going up against the G-Max Lappers? This thing has been crazy on the meta. You guys already know it. But if you guys are hanging out with me in this third battle, give me a little bit of hashtag Krabby Squad in the comment section down below. Let's me know who hangs out and who watches the videos all the way through. But let's get rolling. Who are we going to lead? I can see him leading maybe the the Togekiss. He could trick room with that Mimikyu. I'm not too sure, but he looks like he has some speedy Pokemon with that Pult and the, the Action Duel. But I can see him going either Grimmsnarl Lapras or like Grimmsnarl Togekiss. So, do we roll with Zolt turn one? We could roll Zolt turn one. Hmm. Do I really need Whimsicott here? I mean, yeah, I kind of want it. Yeah, I kind of I kind of would like that one. So, we're going to go Whimsicott. Do I go Gar? Ooh, tough calls. Tough calls. I say I go oh, Gar could be nice once again. Or I could just get rolling with the Krabby Boy. Let's get rolling with the Krabby Boy. Let's get, mm -hmm. Let's get rolling with the Krabby Boy. We'll go Gar in the back end. And then do I go Conkador or Gudra? I think Gudra... A tanky Gudra could be clutch. So let's go there and there. And then let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. I got an itch right here. Oh, right next to my headphones. Oh, we're rolling. Let's roll. I'm trying to go 2 and 1 with this team. Hopefully we can. We should already be 2 and 0 oh if we didn't miss all those attacks in the first battle. Like, what you mean? <laughs> but we're going to get rolling here. Try to catch a nice big fat W. But I think it's going to be tough here. I think it's going to be tough if he leads the Lapras. Ooh, okay, cool. He does not lead the Lapras. Um, I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I think I just go D-Maxing with the Kingler. I think it does have Mold Breaker. It breaks some Mold. And I say, do we even set up Tailwind? Yeah, we have to set up Tailwind. Let's go Tailwind. And I could just D-Max go for a Max Knuckle. Right into this end. Just, just say. Just, just, like, just say. Just say he swaps. Which he could potentially swap. We have a speed advantage already with this Tailwind. So I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. And we can start boosting our attack of our own. So I think we're fine with it. I think we are chilling with it. Let's get it. I don't think this is going to K. The Mexico might not actually KO. Oh, no. It's not going to KO because he's dying to Mexico as well. I should have went into the water. Bruh. I thought he was going to swap. I seriously thought he was going to swap. That's why I went into the Mexico. But come on, Krabby Boy. Get up there, buddy. He actually might Steel Spike, which could be nice. He might go fake out into Steel Spike, which could be decent. Which could be decent to keep my crab alive and then we can slow down. Because like I said, we don't really need the Tailwind too, too much. The Tailwind's just like kind of just to get us rolling. But I seriously think that's what he's going to go for now. He's going to go for a take out into the... Into the Steel Spike on my one scout. Let's see. No, he does not. We get off this Tailwind, baby. What you want? Go ahead, go into a Steel Spike on. I would love it. He goes for a Swagger onto who? Oh! It's an attack boost, but confuses it. Okay, you're swaggering an extra roll? That's bold. That is a bold move. Oh, that, that, that's why. That's why. Okay, right, that, that's why. Fair enough. Max Knuckle flies through. Should have won for that water move. We'll do a little bit of damage. We'll pick up the uh, attack boost as well. But we know we outspeed. So if we can eat up a shot here, or at least him go for the Whimscott, I'm hoping. He should be fine, but he's probably going after my king. Let's see. Steel Spike. Oh, show me Whimscott. Show me Whimscott. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so fine with that. I am so fine with that. We can drop a Moonblast and then go into a foamy. Drop the speed. Take out the extra. Oh, 
We're chilling. We're chilling. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, baby. Let's get it. We go here. With you. I think I actually might roll out with a sucker punch, but I'm chilling. Like I said, yo, let's go. Go after that thing. Go after my Wimscott. We got the Tailwind already up. We're chilling. We're going to start dropping speed with the Kingler move. Big damage as well because it's stab and this thing's just an absolute beast. Santa Claus right here. Let's get it, baby. He's going to go for a Reflect. That actually might keep him alive. I actually don't think it will keep him alive. I really do not. We are plus one, but they are plus one on defense. That kind of cancels it out. Let's see. Moonblast flies through here. Eey. Do some mean damage on that thing. That's what you need. You needed the light screen. And we drop your special attack, which is not bad. We'll come in clutch with this foam burst. Show me if we pick up the KO. Even through the reflect. I think we should. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. And we'll drop that Grimstar speed once again. And then I want to still drop another foamy burst on whatever po whatever Pokemon flies out here. Just to get that speed drop on that one. Here we're chilling. He's gonna set up the light screen after this. I'm still just gonna throw a moon blast into the the Grimstar. Yes, sir. Okay, so he goes Lapras. That's not bad. I mean, he doesn't have the defense boost. I mean, we got speed anyway, so there's really no point for me to even go into that. I might Quake it. No, I'm gonna Knuckle it and go after this thing. Boost our attack once again. We might trigger its weakness policy, but I'm fine with that. I think Light Screen's gonna pop out. Oh, no, you're fake tier. You're fake tier. Okay, so the Grim is gonna go down here. The Grimstarl is going to go down here, and he's probably going to take me out with a lightning move, which is totally fine. Which is chilling. Let's get it. Boop. Bye-bye, Grimmy Grim. I mean, hopefully it's Max Knuckle. Good potential KO? I don't think it is. But if we do eat up a shot, we'll be able to take it out. No problem. Unless this other Pokemon comes out faster. Let's see. Nope. No KO, but we get the plus attack, because we can just go into a hammer arm here. Like I said, we have that speed. We have the speed, baby. Another attack boost. He's going to eat his Citrus Berry? That's gotta be citrus, right? Half health, citrus berry. Surprise! Surprise! Pretty sure I come through. Can we eat? Nope. That that fake tears just took us out. That fake tears just did us dirty. But I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. We still have. Who do we have in the back? I totally forget who we even picked. <laughs> then we have Gudra, right? Yeah, Gudra and Gengar. Beautiful. Um, I can just roll out into an energy ball. I have Moon Blast. This Pokemon is going to be the fastest on the field. The Gengar. He's so fast. Speedy little mon. And he rolls rolls into his fourth and final mon, which is the Toka. So. Potential follow me, right? Potential follow me. Um, I'm just gonna fake tier. I am just going to fake tier and throw Shadow Ball at him. Let's do it. Let's fake tier Shadow Ball. Just pick up the KO. Let's do him dirty. Let's do him dirty. But you gotta go for a follow me, right? Is it maybe a muddy water if you have it or a surf? But I think you're just rolling out with Skull. Let's see what happens. Fake tier. Okay, so no follow me. We're just going to dump on this uh, Tokus. I'm not dealing with the crits and all that. That's super luck. I'm, 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 I'm over it. I'm over it. Ice Shard goes first. Okay, that's fine. You're going to take out you. But we had Prankster. That's why our fake tiers went first. So that's, that's huge. That is huge, baby. And then my Shadow Ball should be able to roll out, pick up this KO. And we should be just get smoothing from here. And pick up this win, baby. Looking good. Looking good. Let's... Oh! What you mean? No! This thing's Sash? What items is this dude using? It's not even Sash? Like, that thing's not even Sash. That is weird. That is weird. That thing not even Sash. Alright, we got Gudra here. Which Gudra can just roll into a muddy water. Take out that. Actually, that thing might be a hydration. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Ooh. But I kind of do not want to go into muddy water. I kind of just want to drop the ice beam over on it. And then... But hypnosis, hypnosis the Lapras. Yeah, I said we do that. I said we do that. Let's see what happens here. That is scary. That is some scary news. He might be going for an ice shard. We'll see. But I, my Gengar should be able to eat up an ice shard. Oh, it's coming down. It is coming down now. Hypnosis flies through. Beautiful, beautiful. He does not go for the ice shard. We can put this thing to sleep and call that a wrap. Call it a wrap. Let's go. Unless this thing's going for like a dazzling gleam. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gengar eats. Okay, yeah, we, we eat that up all day, baby. What you want? Not very effective on Gengar. And you get a crit on Magooja. Magooja has been struggling on the crits from the Dazzling Gleams. But there we go. Take out this Toad Kiss. We have the Lapras to sleep. And we go 2 1 with this team. Beautiful. Beautiful, yo. I'm loving this team, Gabe. That, this team's dope. I'm a big fan. Especially with that Kingler. Kingler's just so much fun to play with. Let's get it. Let's go. Kingler probably would have just swamped out here if he didn't uh, have that, uh, have the fake tears. 
we would have been chilling. And then we got this energy ball, which is coming in clutch, which is actually huge considering Lapras is just big in the meta. So energy ball is going to come up clutch as a big coverage move. Let's go. Not, not bad damage. And Ice Beam is probably not going to pick up the KO. I swear, if this thing wakes up and just tees off on my team, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> I don't think it's going to pick up the KO. Is it? It does. Okay, we take those. We take those all day, baby. Big stab, Dragon Pulse. Picks up the KO, and we get that win. We get a winning record with this G-Max Kingler squad. I'm now realizing it. We should have been 3-0. If we would have won that first battle, we would have went 3-0 with this team. All good, though. This team was tons of fun. Gabe, thank you so much for dropping this team. I really do like the Kingler squad. I really do. Like I said, the only things I probably would change would be put Sap Sipper on that Gudra and maybe take off the Sword Dance for the Kingler. But other than that, I really do enjoy this team. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.